Good evening. Thanks for joining us. It's a year since Bradford's Broadway shopping centre opened and the number of vacant shops in the rest of the city has gone up. Around a quarter of shops on the high street are now empty. It had been hoped that the £260 million shopping centre would be a catalyst for regeneration. But so far that has failed to materialise. Our business correspondent Danny Houston is in Bradford now and joins us live. Danny. Yes, Phil, it really is hard to believe. It's been 12 months since the Broadway opening, ending all those years of headlines about the hole in the heart of the city. And it is clear that Broadway has increased footfall to that part of Bradford. But in other parts, footfall is down and the number of vacant units is on the up. It's one of the things that is having a knock-on to business rates and that is one of the things being discussed at a meeting taking place in the council right now. Regenerating the city, bringing people back into the high street is one of the key things that Bradford Council is looking at and I'll be talking to the council leader in just a moment. But first, I've been assessing Bradford's shopping offer. One year on, Broadway is still sparkling. The £260 million investment is having a significant impact. You know, the regeneration of Bradford is clear to see when we start looking at where we've moved forward on footfall. And, you know, we're averaging 60, 65,000 customers extra a week than we were 12 months ago, which is, a, which is a significant increase and probably better than even estimates that we actually projected. Back to its heyday, not just yet, where once the streets bustled, now they're boarded up. The city's problems less solved than shifted. Empty shops might not be much of a surprise. The biggest concern is the fact that vacancy rates are on the up, from 21% to 23% in just six months. If you bring something shiny and new to one area, it will dazzle and unfortunately cast shadow on the rest of the areas, and that's what we're seeing here in Bradford. It's not that it's bad news that Broadway is here. It is indeed good news because it's brought extra footfall, it's brought new people to the centre, and it's brought the youth market back into Bradford, who were going to lead perhaps or Manchester but what needed to happen at the same time was synergy with the rest of city centre. Bradford's by no means unique. At the ridings in Wakefield they've had their own issues. The arrival of Trinity Walk wasn't a panacea so they've come up with a new plan. We've learned enough lessons. It's not about building a shiny new shopping centre. It's about the stakeholders and the councils coming together, identify what the missing ingredients are and then working out how you can introduce those into the city. But for the city of Wakefield, it's about creating a USP that stops people going off to Leeds and Manchester and Meadowhall. Broadway has done that to some degree for Bradford, but shoppers expect more. 